we have with us former deputy director of ISRO, Arup Das Gupta. Thank you so much for joining us on Beyond, sir. Thank you and good morning. Good morning to you as well, sir. Now, the Pragyan rover has been deployed, which is equipped with X-ray and spectrometers. Uh, what kind of elements do we expect to discover on the lunar surface and what is their significance? Uh, well, uh, the rover is equipped with uh, two major instruments. Uh, one of them is called the uh, the X-ray, uh, the X-ray uh, and uh, alpha uh, ray uh, spectrometer. Uh, this is basically going to look at the surface composition of the uh, of the moon's uh, regolith or moon surface. The other is a laser-induced uh, spectroscope which will essentially beam down a laser uh, beam uh, onto the surface, vaporizing a part of it. And then that part of it, uh, that vapor is going to be uh, pushed through a spectroscope to understand what are the possible elements which are there uh, in the moon, uh, lunar uh, regolith. And of course, it will definitely also look for uh, what everybody has been talking about, that is water. Uh, in either uh, raw form, or uh, in the form of a, of a hydroxide of a, a mineral. Raj, Raj? Right, sir. I was just coming to that. The Chandrayaan 1 detected water on the moon, which was indeed a significant global discovery. Is there anything that Chandrayaan 3 is also looking for specifically, which can be a game changer for human space exploration? Yes, that is true, because uh, what, what we are looking for is uh, not only the water, but also the uh, the po possibility of minerals being there. Uh, for example, we are looking at the uh, possibility of magnesium, aluminium, silicon, of course, potassium, calcium, and titanium. These uh, kind of minerals are all very important for the future uh, projects, which is essentially to build a moon base. So you need water and you need a lot of minerals, and these are going to be the uh, the you know the building blocks for ultimately setting up a moon base and then uh, using the moon base to make further explorations of the planets and so forth. So we uh, can say these are baby steps which you are taking towards that direction, Raisha. Right, so it is indeed a remarkable feat for India and ISRO. Thank you so much for joining.